Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we are going to be looking at this beauty by Steve Ryan. The model name is known as Jim Model, that's right. And guys, Steve Ryan, a knife maker, he's been doing knives since 1985. Very active on websites like Monkey Edge, right? He does a lot of fixed plates, a lot of frame lock folders. And I will tell you on his Instagram, He's very, very active and I've been following him for years there and I love it because he's always sharing his process, giving you tips about how what he's doing. And of course, I will say through IG or through Instagram, it might be one of the best ways to get into his books because he will tell you, hey, the next run is going to be this model and I have two spots open or four spots open. Contact me if you want one and stuff like that. In this case, I got this knife from a brother in the community. The gym, he did this version like late last year. Okay, and one of the cool things about this one is kind of a, you know, a liner lock style. And like I mentioned before, he's more known for frame locks and fixed plates and that kind of flame titanium that he does on his on his titanium frame locks. And like you can see on this liner lock, you will see that flaming that he does. Very well known for that. And guys, this is, I will say, a normal style of size of folder for him. So he definitely does big folders, really, really cool. And then very nice blade designs, guys. He does hot bills, carambits, uh, crazy Elvia styles, you know, very, very cool guy that goes through all type of different designs on his philosophy. And now let's look at this guy first. Before we go to the knife, let me do a few comparisons so you can see that this is a big boy right here. Let me show you how he compares against a full size CQC7. And again, you can see the gym model pretty big right there. You gotta love that. Again, let me show you how it compares against the Commander. That is a, a bigger size right there. Let me show you how it compares right here. Bam. And you can see way thicker, right, compared to that Commander. In terms of dimensions, let me look. I haven't measured this. Man, it's like almost, almost... 4.75 inches on that blade. And overall, it's like 10 point something. So definitely, definitely a big boy folder right there. Now, in terms of construction, okay, that blade is CPM 154. You will have his stamp of Ryan right there. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful upswept, right? Clip point, upswept style of grind right there. One very nice thing that he explains on his videos is that for that switch, you know, that switch is really, really thin, okay? And what he does is that he does put an edge on that switch and then he remove it. He buff it a little bit to remove it, okay? But you have a very nice thin switch right there that is a beauty and one of the cool things, I don't know if the camera will pick this up if that you have that buffing line just like he has on his edge because he just goes through the process of doing a real edge on that switch and then just buffing it out, okay? Or removing it, okay? Just going around and removing the edge on it. So very cool, beautiful switch, very, very nice edge on this hollow grind across the board. Very sharp, my finger can testify on that, really, really sharp. Love the spidey hole on this knife. Great, great lockup right there. Like you can see, it's a liner lock, but just like with the modern Emerson custom knives, the R liner lock, that liner lock is pretty thick, okay? It's just like a freaking frame lock, okay? But very, very cool. Another nice thing about Steve knives is that he does finish them inside and even in areas that you won't be able to see right away like you can see he flames all the titanium finishes all that inside so very very cool attention to detail across the board these scales right here i think he called them fiber smith carbon okay that is basically carbon fiber but you know straight layers okay that he loves to do and you can see that texturing that you can see right there 
This is running in thrust bearings, okay? And again, the action, very, very nice, okay? Again, a beast, a beast on the hand, great, great ergonomics. And man, it's a definitely, a definitely a great, great piece to have in the collection. Again, Steve Ryan, make sure you follow him on IG. It's really fun to see his process and see the, all the different models that he goes through, okay? Very, very cool maker right there. And guys, if you have any question, hey, feel free to jump in on Instagram. You know where to find me in Calo PR, right? Or in caloblaze.com, I do have the links of the main groups that we're always hanging out, Emerson Echo Group, Emerson Operators, you know, USN Forum that is back online. So very, very exciting times. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.